the incredible intergalactic journey home. It's just not fair, a boy declared. I'm not going to bed. I'd rather explore space with Hubble here instead. Up, 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 the two friends flew, leaving their home behind, all the way to outer space. What wonders would they find? They zoomed past planets and black holes, round and round the sun, drinking lemonade and having bucket loads of fun. Just watch this, said Hubble, smiling. Hold on very tight. They looped and whirled and dived and saw much to the boy's delight. My name's in the stars, the boy cried out. You made it just for me. It gleamed and winked and twinkled there for everyone to see. But now, said Hubble, let's head home and quickly at the double. If we're not back by morning, there'll be all sorts of trouble. Then suddenly, watch out, cried Aislinn. Take evasive action. A meteor streaked past them and missed by just a fraction. Their lemonade went everywhere. A froth of fizzy foam, destroying the, their ship's space nav, which knew the way back home. The two friends drifted silently, as lost as lost could be. What to do? More lemonade? asked Bubble, helpfully. Then, through the inky darkness, they saw a shape appear. An alien ship, Aston whispered, shivering with fear. The spaceship stopped. They held their breath. A door slid open wide. Great galaxies, you're far from home, a cheery creature cried. Our space nav's wrecked, the boy explained. We're lost without a clue. Don't worry, dears. Just hop aboard my intergalactic zoo. I have gwals and flarps and zingos, porgorgs and bark to burrs. The most marvelous monsters in the whole wide universe. What's in there? asked Aislinn. Something savage and ferocious? The alien said, even worse, a beast that smells atrocious. Why, that's a skunk, cried Aislinn. As Hubble danced with glee, please tell me where you found it. It's from my, my home, you see. It's from the solar system, said the creature far away. Turn right at the pink planet, then head for the Milky Way. And please, begged them, take the skunk. I just can't stand the pong. Full speed ahead, said Hubble. Quick, we haven't very long. They raced through space until they reached a massive yellow sun. Around it, eight amazing planets very slowly spun. Then, bleep, the two friends heard a sound. They saw a distant glow. A shiny space probe whirled right by and scanned them head to toe. A human boy, it wailed. Oh, no, it sounded close to tears. My mission to find aliens. I've searched for years and years. Aliens, said Aislinn. You want aliens, you say? Why, there's a whole zoo full of them six light years back that way. Well, your home's Earth, the space probe being, you see, just past that moon. Accurate, cried Hubble quick. It's morning very soon. Down, 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 the two friends zoomed. Their ship got hot inside. Lemonade, suggested Hubble. Aislinn simply sighed. Donk! Dazzling birds flew through the air. They watched strange creatures roam. Hubble, I don't know where this is, but it's not much like home. Just then they heard a voice cry, Help! Oh, someone, please help me! A pride of very hungry lions has chased me up a tree. Eek! bleeped Hubble in alarm, shaking like a jelly. To their surprise, the skunk leaped out, spraying something smelly. An explorer climbed down, blushing. Thank you for saving me. Of course, I wasn't really scared. I liked it up that tree. But what are you two doing here? We're lost, the friends replied. No way. You're from the U.S. See that flag on your ship's side? You'll find your home. I'm sure of that. Just head straight over there. All systems go, cried Hubble. We've no time to spare. On they flew until at last the U.S. far below. Aislinn said, but it's so big. Now, which way should we go? Direction, directions aren't my strong point, said Hubble, most dismayed. I'm only built for friendship. Well, and maybe lemonade. They raced on. It was getting light. They should be home in bed. Excited, Aislinn pointed down. 
I know that place, he said. Where's our street? There, quick, let's land. Morning's all here already. Land, his friend said nervously. Okay, I'll try. Hold steady. Crash! They came down much too fast. All systems went haywire. Their ship filled up with thick gray smoke and fire. Fire! Fire! Someone help, coughed Aislinn, feeling weak and sick and dizzy. But Hubble put the fire out with something very fizzy. Sorry for crashing, Hubble sniffed. I'm the worst robot ever. No, you're not, the boy replied. You mustn't say that, never. You've been right by my side from the beginning to the end and helped me home, my front door, to my front door. You're the best ever friend. Back home in bed, Aislinn thought of all the things he'd done. Some brave, some wild, some scary, some an awful lot of fun. There had been times along the way when he felt lost and small, so far from all the people who would miss him most of all. But here, back home where he belonged, he knew one thing for sure, in the whole entire universe, no boy could be loved more. The End